Hey guys, I'm JD Ross and today we're going to install the version of Silent Hill F. I decided I'm going to take this opportunity to introduce you to a new tool called Steam Metadata Editor. This app is the best you can find when it comes to modifying the metadata on your Steam apps or games. As you see here, we can change the game name. Pretty much everything actually, everything. On the demo here, as you see, they even modified the developer name. You can clean up uh, weird names. You could even change the executable to run or maybe add launchers like this. You can add or remove. Let's say you, the game that you're trying to run doesn't use an EXE or maybe it uses a different EXE than the default one. You can definitely do that here, which is why we're using Silent Hill F to uh, demo this app. Because this copy of Silent Hill F uses a bat file to launch the game. And the problem is you can't even add it as non-Steam. Right, you can add it even even if you go to Steam and add it to non-Steam from the library. It's also not gonna work. You can't find the bad file, which is why we're gonna use Metadata Editor for this tutorial. You're gonna need SLS Steam, which will be up there, right on the top left of the video, or I could probably put it in the description as well. After you install SLS Steam, go back to this video and then follow my instructions. Now we're going to install Silent Hill F on SLS Steam. We do this by going to Home dot config SLS team and then config dot yml and then we're gonna need the app ID for the game so we go to Steam and search for Silent Hill F right so as you see here on the top the app ID is two nine four seven four four zero so that's all we need for now we're gonna press enter dash space two nine four 7440. Right. So we're going to save that. Close it. And then we're going to restart Steam. Now on Steam, just click install. Then install on your preferred location. In my case, it's on internal drive. Right. So it's not actually going to download the game. There's no files downloaded, as you see. If we click here, manage, browse local files you'll see that there's nothing. It doesn't download anything, okay? That's why you need this. Unfortunately, I cannot give this to you. So you're gonna have to find this exact copy yourself. Basically, what you're looking for is a Silent Hill F with the bad file on it, right? So we're gonna cut the whole thing and transfer it here, All right? On the folder that Silent Hill F opened. Now, at this point, you're probably thinking you can run it right now, but you can't. If you try to run it, it's going to try and run the EXE, which wouldn't work. Like I said before, you need the bat file. And that's why we have the script. I made a script that would make it easy for you to install Steam Metadata Editor on your Steam Deck, which is this one. I'm going to try to upload the whole guide in the description by the time that this video is up. Then again, this app is very easy to use. I'm going to show you. On the same directory that this script exists, right click here and then open terminal. I want you to type chmod plus x sme.sh enter that's it next is dot slash sme.sh now this command will install the steam metadata editor but there are also three options if you type uninstall it will uninstall the app if you type reinstall it will reinstall the app if you type purge it will uninstall the app and then do some cleanup afterwards. More details on the link in the description. But for now, we're just going to install it. Right. And then press enter. And then type your root password. You don't have to click anything after that, by the way. I'm, I'm just watching it. Should probably get out of the way. Can you see that? Oh, it's done. All right. So now I close that. After installation, you'll find the app on all applications, the metadata editor. All right. On the search bar, type the name of the game. That yeah. see. It's not modified. If we try to click edit launch menu, you'll see that it's going to try to launch this EXE. 
which wouldn't work. So what we're going to do is click here, dot steam, steam, steam apps, comment, silent hill f, silent hill f launcher dot bat, and then open. On the bonus content, we're going to do that same thing. Start Steam, Steam, um, Steam apps, common, Silent Hill F, and bonus content launcher at bat. Open. And then close it. Save it. That's it. And we can now run the game. As you see here, it also it looks just like it's on your library. So we're going to try to play it and see if it works. And there we go. The game launches and uh, we can now play it. So it loads the game and uh, yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any requests, just comment down below. I'm going to try to do it if I can. And uh, if you want more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon if you want to get informed if I upload a new video. And uh, thank you for watching.